So we're hoping to give you guys a bit of an insight into the, the patient journey um, from initial presentation where they might present to the hospital with a, a condition uh, through to the assessment and the diagnosis of what their pathology or their condition actually is and moving on to the, the treatment planning and the interaction with the clinician and um, in, in obtaining that informed consent about understanding what their, the problem is that they may have and then obviously the end game planning their treatment and carrying out the, the necessary surgery and intervention. Um, Lily is a patient that I met today at the emergency department and she came in with a little bit of abdominal pain. So we're just trying to get to the bottom of what exactly it is by putting her through the CT scanner which Michael is helping her with right now. So this is the scan that was taken the last time you came to radiology. Michael's just going to walk through it with us now. So as you can see, you have an aneurysm that we need to fix. What am I looking at? So this is obviously your abdomen, um, and I can take some of those bones away so we focus it on your blood vessels. And by having a look at the blood vessels, you start to be able to appreciate that there's a, this bulging area here. So is this what is inside my body? Yes, this is exactly oh, what's inside okay. you to scale. All right, okay. So this is the bit that you want to fix. Yes, that's correct. Thank you. Yes, yeah, that makes a lot more sense than looking at that. This results in improved patient outcomes, such as patient safety, because we're able to practice this can appreciate the benefits of a dedicated 3D post-processing lab and the, the location where we can start to collaborate with the clinicians and improve patient care by giving them some more information about what their, what their condition is and how we can go about treating that.